We're here at the National Manufacturing Institute for Scotland in Glasgow, which is a centre of excellence for manufacturing engineering. Now, Mark, how does Quick Grind help with training and what is your commitment to engineering manufacturing and, and upping the skill level for the whole of the UK and in Scotland? First of all, I'm the ambassador for the Quest programme at Quick Grind. That is the Quick Grind educational support team where we work with colleges, universities, training providers to educate learners on how to use our products, how to select the correct tool for the job and how to select the, right, the correct cutting data um, so that they're using the tools correctly, using the right machining strategies that fit the cutting tools or the cutting tools that fit the right strategies so, so that they can be uh, productive when they go into the employees. So why is that important for people to understand cutting strategies um, and, and learn from you guys? Surely that's their job, surely they know that already. But there's always new technologies coming out. You know, Quick Grinder, very good at bringing out new cutting technologies. When you bring out new te cutting technologies, you've got to educate people on how to learn, use them tools correctly. So we're not running them too fast or too slow, but they're making the most out of the tool. Yeah. Different companies have different um, sort of requirements. One may want tool life, one might want cycle time. Uh, there's a fine balance and a lot of the time it might be something as simple as using the correct tool holder that will save tool life. But also our tools have been constantly developed. We want people to push them harder, make the most out of that actual tool. And we're here at Enmis, as I mentioned, and these guys are known for their fantastic manufacturing engineering knowledge. What, why do you help train the engineers here? Surely those, these guys know their stuff. Yeah, so we do have, a, you know, MIS does have a number of graduates that come through the system. So we want to help them right at the very beginning and educate them because the people have other things on a day-to-day -day basis that they need to concentrate on. We'll take away the cutting tool side of things and educate people how to use our tools properly. And we're going to talk to Joe in a little bit about, he's one of the technicians and the, engineer, the manufacturing engineers, um, and talk to him about how you help him day to day in learning about production engineering, because it's not a simple thing, is it? What do you actually help him with? What, does he call you up? Does he ask you about cutting data, about tools? Cutting data, tools, which tools should I use for this application? Because quick grind manufacture application specific cutting tools, you know, it might be, this is what I'm trying to achieve. What would you recommend, Mark? And that's where we can, that's where I work with Joe on that type of thing. But again, from a, a quest point of view, an educational point of view, it's all about getting people to understand our products, new developments, and how to use the tools correctly. You know, the days of high speed steel machining, a lot, a lot of tools now that were high speed steel are being replaced by carbide. There still is a need for high speed steel, but again, it's what what are we trying to achieve, which is to make sure that we're the most productive nation uh, there is. Which is obviously a very important topic right now. But what, ma what makes you think Quick Grind is so uniquely placed to help out centres of excellence like this? What, what makes Quick Grind so, um, such, in such, put, you put it in such a great place to, to help people like this? So we have the, the cutting tool knowledge. We know the cutting tools, we, knew the, we know the right creative carbide to use, the right cutting geometry for the different materials, the right coatings. And we also know our products well enough to be saying, push that faster, be more productive, or, you know, we want these tools to be um, remanufactured using our quick edge process, which is the regrind and recoating. Again, saving client base money by using sustainable manufacturing methods. So Joe, what are you doing right now? So right now I'm working on a low cost automation project where we're developing a lower cost system that we can show to SMEs as an alternative to buying in expensive equipment and getting expensive training. This will be this will make it a lot easier to integrate into existing systems with a much lower investment in equipment and personnel. That sounds like a really sophisticated project, but you weren't always working at this high level. How did you get into NMIS? and get into manufacturing engineering? So I started in the manufacturing industry with the NCTF program, so the government-run program as a response to COVID. I joined Enmis initially on just a six-month placement where I was doing composite machining, and eventually that's led to me working here. And you're surrounded by a lot of great technology and a lot of great expertise. 
How has that helped you to learn in manufacturing engineering? It makes learning all these skills incredibly easy when you've got all the knowledge here, all the pre-existing knowledge of all the experience of everyone who's worked here and also all of our partners as well. But it's not just that NTTS six months you spent, you've now been exposed to, to Mark and Quick Grind. And what have they helped you with? Everything from cutting data, feeds and speeds, to just general advice and strategies for all the various jobs I'm setting up. Whether it's one-offs or big projects, their advice is always very quick, very professional, and it lets us get on with projects and get things finished. So what do you, do? I mean, what happens day to day? Do you just call them up and ask them for some parameter advice? Yeah, I phone Mark and I'll get a response the same day and we'll be able to get on with projects where it's cutting data, the overall strategy, different materials, different tools that I didn't even know we had on site, but Mark knows because he supplies all of them. And what do you think, where, do you think there'd be gaps in your knowledge if Quick Grind weren't a partner of Enmis? Absolutely, there's a big barrier to getting into this industry in terms of knowledge and having partners like Quick Grind who are available all the time and able to share that and it helps us get moving so much quicker than if we didn't have them.